what is copyright? If we split the word up, we can think of it simply as the right to control copying of a work. That can be your work or someone else's. And what do we mean by a work? Any sort of image, writing, music, video, even computer programs are considered works. The requirements are that they must be original and they must be a fixed expression. That is, they must be written down or recorded or published, etc. It can't just be an idea. In student media work, you might deal with copyright in two main places. When you want to copy someone else's work in your media and when someone else wants to copy your work. In the first situation, you might want to include a photo you found on the internet in your story because you can't get one yourself. You do a quick online search and you find a great one. Can you use it? Probably not. You have to assume it's protected by copyright unless you know for sure that it's not. Even if it doesn't say copyright 2022 or all rights reserved, you have to assume it's protected by copyright. This applies to all sorts of works, in print, online, or social media, for example. And to be clear, no, just because you found something on social media doesn't mean you can copy it. However, if you find something that is labeled with a CC, that means it's licensed with a Creative Commons license. The work's creator has offered it to the world to copy, probably with some restrictions. For more in Creative Commons, see our video on that topic. There's an exception to copyright known as fair use. It's a little complicated, so we have a separate video on that too. There are other forms of licensing, such as public domain, which allows anyone to use them, or paid licenses, but those are pretty straightforward, so we won't go into them here. Another source you can use is the US federal government. Sites like the National Weather Service, the National Archive, the White House, NASA, FEMA, and others are considered owned by the American public. You should still give attribution for any work you use, of course. A quick note, just by giving credit to the creator does not allow you to violate a copyright. And the same protections apply to your work. If you published an article and one day you find it online on someone else's website without your permission, you have a right to get it taken down or work out a deal with the website. Check out our links below for more information. For the Scholastic Press Rights Committee, I'm Trip Robbins.